Hello, good evening. It's Thursday and you know what that means. Tomorrow's Friday. <laughs> and I am probably going out hiking sometime in the morning. We're supposed to now, it's only a 30% chance of precipitation. Snow, I think snow maybe mixed with rain. Um, but that would start at 11 a.m. I was hoping to get out there earlier than that anyway. Um, to a place called the Sun Mountain Trail. Now, I didn't even really know it existed. I went on this website called alltrails.com. And like everywhere, I guess, in the country, it has, you know, uh, information about these trails and maps and all that. So I looked up one near San, in or near Santa Fe and that one I've never hiked and it's not up in the mountains it's not like up in the Hyde, Hyde Park for or the Santa Fe Forest or near the ski place so I it's further south from there and a little east from where I live so that's what probably I'm gonna do tomorrow around I don't know what time yet I'm waiting to hear from my dad so anyway, I'm just uh, doing this laundry. I had to wash my sheets. I want to make this bangers and mash tonight. I have, now it is, it's not as cold. Tomorrow's supposed to be 34 degrees, but yeah, and today it was like 34 degrees. So it's not really that bad to me anyway. So I've got these potatoes here for the bangers and mash. I've got the sausage. I don't remember where I put it. And I think it's still here in the refrigerator. Oh, this is the Italian sausage. Okay. Uh, I need the, I like to use the chicken sausage. So, robust Italian chicken sausage. Okay. And then, well, look at all this stuff on my counter, and here's the blueberry bread from last night. It really, really tastes like a pancake. It tastes like a blueberry pancake. I think I mentioned that last night in my video, that it tastes like a blueberry pancake, and I actually put syrup on it. I know that sounds funny, but anyway, it, it, the syrup went really well with it, It, you know? So, so I've got this, the sausage, potatoes. I mean, these are fingerling potatoes. They're really small, like baby potatoes or something. I've got all... I don't really have room for these cereal boxes, which I haven't even opened yet. I don't really have room in my cabinets. Like, they aren't... T well, maybe... Maybe, maybe I can put ooh, these cinnamon oat bites up there. I don't know. Could I put... Let me see if the frosted, let me go to try the frosted shredded wheat. Oh, yeah, maybe they can fit. Okay, I didn't know I had that much uh, space. I've got this like shelving paper or whatever up here. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, well, I got them in there. Good. Problem solved. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to get to... So now there's a little, little bit of space cleared out in the kitchen. It's my spoon rest that we need to go in the dishwasher. Here is some pizza crust mix. Put that up there. Organizing my kitchen here. Get this butter. Oh, this may be what I have left of the garlic. And the gravy recipe calls for garlic. Um... And this beef broth and onion. So I have onion right there. This is what's left of the garlic, I think, unless I have some more somewhere over here. Had it for a while. Mm. My big bag of sugar for baking. Yeah, that must be all the garlic I have left. I need a new butter dish. That's one of the things on my list for tomorrow. I might look, I'm, I'm thinking about going to Bed Bath & Beyond and looking because I know they'll have it. I mean, I know they sell butter dishes and 
I need a soap dispenser for my bathroom. So I know they'll sell that stuff, so that's why I want to go there. I typically don't really shop there that often. I did uh, receive a gift card for my birthday. It was my birthday. Yeah, my birthday last year. And I, I, asked, for it. I asked for it from my brother and sister-in-law, and I really wanted it. And I really loved the table I was able to buy. It was like kind of one of those patio furniture type for uh, only $20. So... Um, yeah, that was great. I love the table. I just love it. I keep it by my bedside. And... Alright, potatoes. I gotta go back to the recipe. I gotta move this, because this is my silicone oven mitt. This is just a pot holder. I really wish... I need some kind of basket for, like, things like potatoes, garlic, onions, things like that. I have a bread basket, but I don't keep it in my... I really would love... I, I really wish... I'm grateful for having a place this nice. and much. Ni I mean, much nicer than where I lived before in Chicago. Um, but I just... I, for the things I'm interested in, like cooking, baking, art, I just... That's why I wish I had more space. That's the only... Um, you know, uh, I'd love to have an art desk. I'm kind of an art studio. And I'd love to have more space in my kitchen so that I can kind of, I don't know if you call it, like, furnishing. <laughs> no, I just need more stuff to hold, like, all my food and stuff. You know, salt. I think I need, eh, maybe for the grave. I don't know. Anyway, I need to get to this, so I will film in the press, film, yes, in the process of making it. I really, these are unsightly, these butter things, so. <laughs> I don't even know where to put them. Mm. And Shiva, my cat, didn't like it. Kind of made him sick a little bit. Not sick, but I just don't think he liked this because it's pate and he doesn't always care for that. So I always usually give him friskies or fancy peas. All right, enough of me talking. Let me just straighten up a little bit more and get the recipes out, or the recipe out, and then go from there. All right, I will see you guys all soon. Oh, I got a look. <laughs> For the gravy. Or actually, I could just really use my jar of gravy. <laughs> All right, see you soon. Okay, so I'm starting. I'm actually not going to cook the sausages on the stove like it was supposed to be in the recipe. And I don't know if I'm going to use gravy. I was going to use this jar, small jar of gravy, but I think it went bad, so I had to throw it out. Anyway, I'll see about making the gravy. I think I have some frozen peas. Peas are like an accompaniment, accompaniment, whatever, a side dish for this recipe of bangers and mash. So I just put some butter in here. I've set the oven. I really prefer using the oven for cooking rather than cooking on the stove. I've got to uh, slice up some. You can sometimes use butter. Well, this is margarine. I use margarine. I don't, I'm not, I don't use butter. Okay. So now I'm going to put the Sausage. I don't know if I. I don't know if this even makes any sense. How I'm doing it. But whatever works, you know. I don't have any oil. That's why I don't have any olive or vegetable oil or anything. I've used that all up. I believe. I believe I'm out of vegetable oil and olive oil. I could check. Let me see here. But if I have any vegetable oil, it doesn't appear that I do. Yeah, the lighting in here is so bad just because. This light here went out, and the guy has not, like, been by to change it, the maintenance guy, because he really doesn't have much time on his hands, but, um, yeah, so that's, maybe I could put in three sausages, and I'm going to do some onion, I use up my, use up my garlic, so, so I'll be back momentarily. 
And now what's left of this garlic I'm going to use, I put some onion on it. This is, this. I know this looks really funny, but hey, do what you got to do when you got to eat. <laughs> well, the beef broth tastes okay. I'm going to, I'm just, you know, winging it and pouring beef broth over. I mean, I can't use anything like, obviously like any alcohol like Guinness or anything like that. So I'm just using the beef broth for some flavor. I wish I still had that jar of gravy, but I think I was supposed to put it in the fridge and I just forgot. So, okay. Well, that's the sausages for now. I'm going to put them in the oven and let's see. Oh, I have to do the potatoes, but I have to see how long this is going to cook. It's not as long as obviously like baking or anything, but it takes a while depending on what temperature you set it at. Okay, well, I am going to cook some peas. Now, unfortunately, the, I don't, this is, not, this will get filmed tonight, but it's not going to get up until sometime on Friday, probably. So, I'm filming this Thursday evening, uh, January 19th. I'm going to put these peas. The peas are the side dish for the bangers and mash. The, unfortunately, the sausages are still in the oven cooking. They need to take quite a while to get to the texture and that I that they need to be that I like them to be at in the sausages. So I'm just gonna take these peas. Ooh, they're like frozen. <laughs> totally. Well, I just can't dump things. I I can't dump things in a pot of like simmering or boiling water because I have a. Um, I have some kind of problem with the burners on my stove. I have to be very careful. So that should be enough peas, yeah. Yeah, that should be enough peas. For me. I love peas. I don't know my bag. I got these frozen ones for a recipe. I think it was, I think it was around Thanksgiving. So, but I still have them. I think I had gotten two bags of frozen peas. So I'm just having some snacks. Some uh. I think it's sourdough bread or cracked wheat sourdough or something like that. I just uh, made bread, um, toasted bread and butter, so like toast in my microwave since my toaster is not working. I do not know what's wrong with this toaster. Um, it was cheap. It was like $12 at Target. I think they were just like getting rid of it or something. I don't know if it would, I don't know. But I may have to get rid of that. And, Invest in a little more pricey toaster or something. I don't know why it's not working. I really don't, but that's okay because I can use my microwave, which is way older than my toaster and still works great. So anyway, I will be back. I will be back. See you soon. All right. Now I've just turned off the peas. I think they're... Uh, really wish I had more kitchen space. Yeah, they're done. Now I'm going to check on my chicken sausages in the oven and see if they're done. I usually only make like one thing, like one entree or something to eat, but this is going to be an actual meal. I never usually make myself meals. I've always been kind of what they call a grazer, you know, just eating here and there, just whatever. I can find or snack on or whatever, but honestly, I didn't used to cook and I prefer to eat meals. <laughs> so, yep. Okay, that's done. Put these peas back in the uh, freezer. And now I'm going to check on my sausages. So these are my chicken sausages just out of the oven. I've been cooking quite a while. I put some margarine, some beef broth, some onions and garlic. I cooked it my own way, not according to the exact. I don't have an actual like printed out recipe or anything. I just go buy stuff on the internet, either YouTube or Google or whatever. Oh yeah, those look done. You can hear them kind of sizzling there. Ooh, I can't wait to try this meal. I have some hot dog buns and then I've got to do the potatoes. 
So this is my version, Kimia's version of Bangers and Mash. And there is a little history behind. It's an English, British, or Irish dish. I think it's made a little differently, the Irish style, the Irish way of cooking it, than the British way. But you can Google the history of it. There was, and I forgot why he says the sausages were called bangers, and of course the mash is mashed potatoes. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> I just gotta give that final, like, touch or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to cook some potatoes now. And I might have one of the sausages after it cools off just to see how it tastes. Okay. I kind of gave up on the actual full meal I was hoping for with the potatoes and all. And I even thought about making some, um,. Trader Joe's biscuits. I got them from Trader Joe's, I don't know, last month or something, or earlier this month. But anyway, earlier this month. But anyway, I'm just going to hold off on the big meal. <laughs> it just got too late. I did have one of the chicken sausages, the banger <laughs> of the bangers and mash. I just didn't, I made the bangers, I didn't make the mash, and I made a side dish of peas. And both were good. So I'm happy. I'm pleased it all turned out well. I'm getting better at my cooking and baking. It may not always look exactly like the recipe. You know, sometimes I just have to wing it a little or mix it, you know, try try my own version with the ingredients that I have. Um, so that's what I have to do. And plus I'm real cautious about using the stove and, and I like to use the oven better. And there are a lot of things that people normally cook on the stove that you can cook in the oven, uh, like bacon, for instance, or something like that. I do cook bacon in the oven now. The I was always getting splattered with grease, and it was really like irritating my skin, burning me. So I cook bacon in the oven now. It's very simple. And yeah, so I made the bangers. I might have another one. I don't know. And tomorrow morning, uh, about ten. Uh, between 10 and 10.30, we're going over to Sun Mountain in, near Santa Fe, very close. I guess it's probably still in Santa Fe proper, I don't know. But um, Sun Mountain, I'm really excited. I saw, I googled and saw some pictures. I went on the All Trails website and app, which I think I am going to download that app. Uh, I heard and found out about a lot of trails that I normally wouldn't know of. And it's still a secret to my parents, but I'm really going to try to push go push going up to the Story Lake near Las Vegas, New Mexico, not Nevada. No, no, we're not going back there this year. Las Vegas, New Mexico, and I want to do that for my birthday in a couple weeks. So yeah, so but tomorrow, tomorrow at hand is Sun Mountain, and it. It looks really, really nice. Some great views and just some interesting things to see along the way. Just little, sometimes like I would call them quirky things that are cute and photo worthy and just, just really cool to me. So I'll see you guys all later. You have a wonderful night. By the time you see this, it will be daytime. So good morning, I guess. All right. I'll see you guys all later. Take care.